Yeah, those berries are gorgeous. But I have a question. Are they as healthy as they are beautiful? This episode of Tiny Desk Kitchen, we put berries under the microscope. Do you have any idea what an antioxidant is? No, I don't. Um, a fancy word? I could not begin to tell you. Sorry. It's something that's good for you and uh, I read that somewhere. <laughs> so here's one way to think about antioxidants. This tractor here used to be bright, shiny red. Now, as you can see, it's nothing but rust. This is oxidation, and the same thing can happen inside our bodies. When we eat foods rich in antioxidants, the idea is that perhaps we can stop that rust from accumulating. In a test tube, scientists have found that the antioxidant compounds in berries are real workhorses in preventing cell damage, or that rust-like effect. But in the body, scientists don't know how many of these antioxidants actually make it to your cells. But diabetes? That's another story. Scientists have some evidence that blueberries can help regulate blood sugar, and that can help protect against type 2 diabetes. And how do scientists know this? They looked at the body's ability to absorb sugar, and muscles are key. They use up to 80% of the body's sugar. Right after you eat, muscle cells are grabbing as much of that sugar in the form of glucose as they can from the bloodstream. This not only feeds the muscles, but it's also the body's way of dumping sugar from the bloodstream. Too much sugar left over in the bloodstream can cause problems. It sets the scene for type 2 diabetes and over time weakens blood vessels. But in a study of people who drank two blueberry shakes a day, their bodies became more efficient at removing sugar, on average about four times as efficient compared to the non-blueberry group. Scientists don't know exactly why blueberries might help regulate blood sugar, but it may be the polyphenols found in berries. Bottom line, the more berries of any kind, the better. Okay, I'm skipping the desk this time and heading straight for a drink, but hold the alcohol. I've got a baby on the way. So I have brought these berries fresh from the bog to the perfect woman who can help us jazz it up and get berries into our diet. Gina, you know it's Thanksgiving time. Can you help us make something with these yes, berries? Yes, absolutely. Um, we're going to do something a little bit different. We're going to actually juice our cranberries in a juicer and we're going to put a little bit of fresh pears with it. Is the sweetness going to come from the pear in this drink? The pear, and then we have a little bit of um, a quince um, honey syrup that I made. It's not too many calories, too much sugar, not bad for you. And the quince are very cool. They have really awesome texture and taste. Got it. And we're going to take a little bit of the uh, simple syrup. So we're going to use about an ounce. We're going to do the same amount, equal parts, cranberry to pear juice. Ah, wow. And you could get this on your Thanksgiving table. Easily. Quickly, yeah. Look at the color of it. I mean, ah, it's just it so is much gorgeous. Better. It's like regal. Mm. Is the, um, wow. Hey. There's just a little honey in here. You can really taste that essence of cranberry, and it's not a ton of sugar in here. I don't know. I think it's always one of those things when you find a complimentary flavor or something, and it just works. It works. So let's drink to. Cranberries. Cheers. So what have we really learned? Well, it turns out that berries are chock-a-block full of antioxidants, and this may help protect our cells. Turns out blueberries seem to help regulate blood sugar. But here's what I want you to remember. Three colors, red, green, and blue. Study after study has shown that people who eat a lot of colorful, fresh food tend to be healthier. So what would you like me to explore in the next episode? Send me your suggestions at npr.org.